Welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I am going to show you uh, six options infographic slide in PowerPoint. You can see here I have added a magnifying glass and in the background you can see the world map and I have just selected the region to be highlighted and each arrow I have given a different icon and a text there and if you want to add more text below you can add it here. So let's see how to do this beautiful infographic slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to gradient background and go to view enable the guides. Go to insert shapes and select circle hollow. Draw a circle while holding the shift key and reduce the width by dragging this small orange point maybe we need this much size shape outline make it no outline and align center and align middle then right mouse click go to format shape and select gradient fill and here i'm just going to select a type as linear and I'm going to add four or five stops. The first stop, I'm going to make it as a dark gray color. Then I'll use one more and use some white color for the shining purpose. Again, I'm adding one more with darker colors. One more with light color. And then again, a darker color. So, You can do something like this or I can keep it only one also. I can move where I want the more the shining. I want the shining somewhere here. And then I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate and I'm going to make only two stops. I'm deleting all other stops. I'll just make it this one the lighter color and this is somewhat more lighter. Then reduce the size and again align center, align middle. I'll further reduce the size and then send this to back. You can see here it looks like a, a 3D design. And once this is done, I'll go to insert shapes under basic shapes. I'm going to select this trapezoid. So I'll just draw a small trapezoid here. This is a handle. I will give the same color maybe shape outline make it no outline and then I'm going to make one more trapezoid which is bigger one and make sure that this is properly aligned and give some dark color shape outline make it no outline so you can see here our design of the magnifying glass is almost ready. Now I'm going to select all the objects or you can press Ctrl A and I'll just move it somewhat up. And if you want you can increase the size. And then I'm going to add some arrows here. To add the arrows just go to insert shapes and select this arrow left I'm just going to add one arrow here shape outline make it no outline and say gradient fill gradient fill make it linear 
and I'm going to use two stops one light and dark color so first color I'm going to select say a teal color dark and then I'm going to select a light color and direction you can just say like this and then I'm going to give a 3d effect for this also let me just zoom in and go to insert shapes select rectangle top corners rounded make this top corners fully rounded and rotate it and exactly put it here and give some dark color to this shape outline make it no outline and then send it to back you can see here I have just given a curved effect or if you want you can more zoom in and align it properly and press ctrl D bring the other side and then send this to back let me just fit to slide now you can see here it looks like this particular arrow comes out from the magnifying glass I'm just going to select this mag uh, this arrow press ctrl G to group it you can see it has become one group now and press ctrl D I'm going to make six arrows so just rotate it and then press ctrl D put the other side so 3 on the left and 3 on the right I'm just going to select all these three press ctrl G and ctrl D to duplicate and just rotate it format rotate flip horizontal and exactly put it here then I'm going to select all this group and ungroup again ungroup all one by one then zoom a little bit and start sending this only this to back otherwise it doesn't look good you can see here this is coming on top of the magnifying glass so I'm just going to select this and sending this to back so here also so do it one by one for all the arrows and later on you can change the color of the arrow of your own choice I'm just going to select maybe a orange color here and a lighter orange only the direction I want the light to be the other side right so likewise you can uh, change the color of all the arrows the next step I'm going to add the background and and I'll add a world map just go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape while holding the shift key and bring it here shape outline make it no outline and you can go to effects shadow and select the inner shadow 
and you can increase the distance the color of the shadow I'm just going to make it a blue and then send this to back and then I'm just going to add the world map I'm just going to copy this and paste it here and this is editable you can just change the color of your country whichever all right and then just send this to back and increase the size so you can see here the magnifying glass is ready and if you want you can give some glass effect for to give the glass effect i'm just going to make one small circle again I'll just make a small circle and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill make it white and I'm just going to cut this particular shape with one rectangle so I'm just going to cut this much shape I'm keeping only this one I'll just select this and this merge just say subtract and increase the transparency so you can see here it looks like a, a glass effect here just send this to back now it's time to add the icons and the text to add the icons go to insert icons and select the icons of your choice and for this you need to have an uh, latest powerpoint version and active internet connection so I'm just going to select any of the, the icons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, not this, maybe this, insert, move this outside, and graphics will make it white, and start putting one by one here, reduce the size, So I'm just putting one by one adding it or if you don't have uh, the latest version you can go and search uh, the nounproject.com you can also get a, a good free icons there. So now I have added all the icons let me just go to insert text box and type here or just title here center align I just give century gothic font make it bold and place it here and then you can make the font as white let me make it 16 and then press ctrl D sorry and just rotate it you can see here you can just add the title like this to all the arrows So just add the text to all the arrows one by one so you can see here I have added all the uh, text and if you want like this you can add the more detailed text uh, below also here so that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel powerpoint university
that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye